Hi, I jumped on a little early. I couldn't wait. I'm so excited to go live. I love spending time with you. And we are chatting about clutter today, but specifically like that it isn't one size fits all. Decluttering isn't one size fits all, just like organizing isn't. I struggled for a really long time to get organized because I was trying to use methods that I saw other people using and I was failing. So I just assumed I sucked at getting organized. But what I realized was I just needed a different approach. I just needed a different method. And the same thing goes for decluttering. Other people are like, just grab something and put it in a bag. If you haven't used it in 12 months, just let it go. But if to you, like that's like easier said than done, or if for whatever reason, there's like a roadblock there, what if we just try a different method? So I'm going to share a bunch of different methods with you today, including like I started using some and now I don't use those anymore. I like use a mod, like modified different combina combinations. And we're also going to talk about take your house back because this is like pretty life-changing if you really are ready and you're like, I'm, I'm sick of it. I'm ready to make a change, but you need extra help and support. And then I'm also going to answer your questions live and we're going to have like a chat, which is going to be so fun. So good morning. I see everyone. Let me know if you can hear me okay. And if you can see me okay, Patriot girl, I see you. You've been stuck. Okay. I'm hoping today you're going to feel unstuck because that's what we're going to talk about, different ways that we can approach the same situation. And know that if you are living with a lot of clutter, it's not like honestly, and you haven't been able to get it yet, there's nothing wrong with you. You just haven't found a technique or a method that works yet. You might need a little extra accountability and support to get you started. You might need to try something completely different than you've tried in the past. Just because it works for other people doesn't mean it's going to work for you. That doesn't make you a failure. You just haven't found your thing yet. Okay, so we're going to talk about all the different ways. Thank you, you guys, so much. Yep, I can. Uh, I feel you, positive mama. You can organize other people's stuff, but not your own, for sure. That's one hundred percent a roadblock. And when you're organizing other people's stuff, it's way easier. It's also easier to declutter other people's stuff, right? It's also easier to see other people's clutter. I'm always looking around my house, and I'm like, my husband. I'm like, look at all this stuff that you have. This extra that needs to be decluttered, and he's like look over there at all your stuff. But I'm blind to that sometimes. I can see my kids and my husband's stuff, but it's really hard to see your own. And again, all of this is so normal, so normal. So let's just jump in um, and, and talk about the different kinds of methods because what's really crazy is there's, they're so different. All right. We're going to start with the four sort method, which is grabbing four boxes or four bags and sorting things into keep, toss, donate, does not belong. I am going to be totally honest with you. This is what I started with. This is the method I taught in my course. This is the method I used with clients for years. I don't love this method anymore. I found it wasn't actually helpful for a lot of people because it almost overcomplicated the process. They had to think about what bin that went into. And plus, now we're putting all the keep stuff into a container, but most of it's keep. So we're just like piling stuff for the sake of piling stuff. It was like, if this works for you, awesome. Keep doing it. But if you've tried this method and you're like, that sucks. <laughs> I'm with you. I don't love it. Okay. Not my jam. But I feel like I have I use a little bit of a modification of that. So this is what I mean. Another method is called the yes or no method. Yes or no. Which means if it's a yes, I like this, it stays in place. And if it's a no, it goes in a pile for going. And this means that pile, you're not sorting by donate, trash, recycling. You're going to do that later. You're just like, this is leaving my house. Like, I know I don't need this. Boom. And that 
stops the decision fatigue of making a lot of piles. You do have to sort the go pile after, but for some reason, like just deciding yes or no makes the process a lot quicker. And this is actually what I use now when I'm working with clients is this yes, no, but I modify it slightly to include a does not belong, which means like, yeah, I want to keep it, but not in the space. It belongs upstairs. So that's another little separate pile. Um, so, so I use this yes, no method in almost a hundred percent of the time with clients. So that way they don't have to think very much. I hold something up. I'm like, yes, no. Yet if it's a yes, I keep it where it is. If it's a no, that can go. I toss it in a pile and then I go through that pile after. Does this make sense? Yes, no is a method that really works for me. But again, if you're an overthinker, <laughs> that might not work for you too. It's fine. We got so many here. Three second rule is called intuitive decluttering. And this I actually do like and use a little bit too, which means if you pick something up and you have to think whether you need it for something for more than three seconds, you don't. <laughs> so what I say is like, if it's not a hard, yes, I like this, it's a hard, no, it's got to leave your house. This is trusting your gut, this like intuitive decluttering, they call it. Because it's our brains that get us into trouble, right? It's our, it's our brains that overthink the decluttering process and talk us into why we need to keep something. Well, but maybe if like it's really raining and uh, everybody in my house needs an umbrella and then I also have guests over, then I would need 27 umbrellas. Do you know what I mean? Like or something like that. So um it, the the intuitive is like you hold it up and you like if you re if you hesitate for more than three seconds to decide if you need it, you don't need it. That shuts off that perfectionist brain, stops you from overthinking, and just simplifies the decluttering process so that you're not having a whole entire conversation with yourself about every single item in your house. Like it shouldn't be a novel, friends. It should just be. Yep, do I want it or not? And and when you feel those little thoughts creeping in of like, but what if? Then you just like intuitive. Yes, no. Do I do I intuitive? Three seconds. Again, in theory, this sounds amazing. And if I'm working with a client, people do this. But on your own, without anyone else there. People struggle with this because it's it's easy to say, I'm just going to intuitively do it. It's another thing to like literally shut your brain off. You know what I'm saying? So again, let's move on. We're moving on. I see all your beautiful comments and I can't wait to chat with you guys and we'll answer questions. Um, do you, Andrea's like, I like this. Do I get five seconds? You do you. Yes, you get five seconds. It It's... It's about it's about like trusting your instinct and your first thought because that's usually the best one, right? And it's our anxiety that's causing us to overthink and overanalyze and and go down the what if path, just in case path, which always always leads to well, I better keep it. Always. So, even though we know we shouldn't. So that's why this works. The Conmarie method it's gathering in categories and does this spark joy. And the thing is, the sparking joy part is the intuitive three-second rule. That's basically the same thing. What makes this method a little bit different is that you're gathering everything of one category into a big pile. So you're like shocked by how much crap you have and you're like, oh yeah, that's so much. Um, and it kind of shifts you into like, a different thing. Here's the thing. It works okay for clothing. If you don't have a ton, it works great for books. Maybe it's because I just have too much stuff, but I find this method extremely overwhelming because gathering everything into a big giant pile and then now you have to, the stuff you decided you want to keep, now you got to go put it all back is so much work that a lot of people, and including me, would just like leave the mountain. 
Like you're exhausted after gathering everything. You're you're tired. Listen, if we had that level of energy, we probably wouldn't have as much clutter as we do. You know what I'm saying? Like that's a that's a lot of work. But I do like the spark joy part of that because again, that's the intuitive decluttering. So I think I think if this method works for you, awesome sauce. And I know a lot of people during COVID were loving this, but we were home all day. We had hours and hours and hours and hours to dedicate to doing this. If we working full time, we got kids, whatever's going on in your life, you just might not have the capacity to do that. And that's okay. I also do not have the capacity to con Marie my place. I am too lazy. I'm just going to say it. I'm too lazy for that. So um, it, that don't work for me. But her spark joy thing is amazing. That's that intuitive thing. So you can do that, just opening up your closet, taking out one shirt and asking yourself, like, does this spark joy, you know, or in five seconds or less, three seconds, <laughs> do I want to keep this? And if the answer is yes, put it back. And if it's no, it goes in a pile easy peasy lemon squeezy. So it's not a terrible method by any means. It's just, it's a lot. Okay. The Easter egg method. This is literally where you grab, grab a trash bag and a bag for donations and you just run around and hunt for stuff like it's Easter eggs. Only you don't get chocolate. You get donations and trash. <laughs> but I like this, especially for ADHD years, because if we give ourselves a number, I like 21, you pick a number, whatever number it is, and you have to find that many pieces. It's now a game. And when we're playing a game, we're having fun. So this Easter egg method means you're not sorting, you're not making piles, you're not, yeah, you're just looking for stuff to go, like on your market set, go. And you can do this Easter egg method with your entire family and make it a bigger game and that everyone gets a bag. Let's see who can find the most to go. The person who finds the most things to leave wins. On your market set, go. So Easter egg is is fun and setting a number is really good if you're by yourself because that's kind of upping the ante and challenging you to find it, which is if you have ADHD and motivation issues, it that making it fun and making it a game is what we need to like get us up and get us going. Um, but how do you not get sidetracked? Yeah, so that's why I like to keep the number kind of small. <laughs> like 21 for me is a great number because I can find 21 things in like five minutes. So, because it can be trash. Look at this. I'm like, oh, this this is literally a piece of trash. One, two, three. I don't know. I'm in a drawer. So honestly, five. This can go. Why is it in here? Definitely this. What even is this? Six. You know what I mean? We can do this really fast. Um, instantly wherever we are. It's okay if it's trash. It can be like whatever. So this is fun. Or using a timer. Yes, this is good. A timer would do the exact same thing. It would create like that urgency and that fun, which we need. If you have ADHD, you need this because you're given that dopamine hit, that rush of excitement, which gets you up and gets you moving. Super fun. Super, well, I mean, fun-ish or decluttering. Um, my kids, this is how my kids declutter because I make it a challenge and they want to beat each other <laughs> and they want to beat me. They want to win. Who doesn't want to win? So we love the Easter egg method. It, it, it really works. Okay. So the minimalist method, this is such a mindset shift that's actually very effective for a lot of people, which is like you only keep the essentials because your goal is to simplify your life. It's a lifestyle. Decluttering is not like a project or a challenge or something you're just doing today because you're closets too full. You are like, I am embracing this lifestyle of simplification, which is a method that is very effective for a lot of people. I'm not like called to that. I love the idea of making life easier, which minimalism does, but I also, I'm just, that's not my jam. 
you know, but if it's yours, awesome. And if like the idea of that, whether it's tiny living or literally just like really drastically simplifying your life that lights you up, then this is the method for you. This is like embrace that lifestyle because once you've made that shift to I'm going to simplify my life and live a minimalist lifestyle, decluttering becomes a lot easier because your goal is, is this essential? Yes or no. Right? So again, super effective. 12 month rule. I used to love the crap out of this. Now I'm like, it's not my thing anymore. I used to, when I first started and went working with clients, if I haven't used it in a year or more, it has to go. So that was like my hard rule. If I haven't used something in 12 months, it's got to go. But then it's like, what if you like stuff? <laughs> like, what if it's not something you use? What if it's something you just, it's memories and you just, or you just like love it or it's decor on your wall that makes you happy. And then also, okay, I haven't used this in a year, but it's an air mattress for when we have guests and my brother comes and stays every three years with me and I would have to go rebuy it. And so it leaves room for like wishy-washiness. Does that make sense? Like, and then you have to go and then you now you're writing a novel in your head. You're like, well, technically, and maybe I and blah, blah, blah. And then you're exhausted from thinking. It's just it's too much thinking. I need very little thinking, you know, because I think too much sometimes about stuff like that. So um, but but if this if this if you need this hard rule in your life and you and you find like this helps you. Absolutely. I'm not saying it's not great. I'm just giving you a lot of options here. You know? Okay. So uh, no mess method. This is Dana from A Slob Comes Clean. No mess method. And I had not heard of this and still until I started working with her on the Take Your House Back. So basically her, she has like a four-step process. You start with trash, then like the easy stuff, the duck clutter. Um, take it there now use the container concept and it is hard, fast. You don't make a mess. Your house gets picked up and it's like also not emotional. So we're not asking yourself, do you like this or not? Because like Dana said, I like everything. Or you're not saying like, do you want to keep this? Because intuitively everything she picked up was like, yes. She kind of had like hoarding tendencies, like everything was potential. Everything was like, I want to keep everything. You know what I mean? Like I want to keep every single thing, obviously. So none of those other methods worked for her because she wants everything. Does this make sense? So I couldn't, I couldn't relate to that because I was able to intuitively declutter and be like, no, I don't actually need that. But what I realized working with Dana is a lot of people can't do that. They need a non-emotional, non-thinking approach. Like it has to be logical. It can't be, do you like it? Because she likes everything. It can't be, do you want to keep this because they want to keep everything. It has to be, does this fit in your home? This is where it's supposed to go. Does it fit there? No? Well, then what's the least best thing in this spot thing and you trade it for the thing? You know what I'm saying? Like it's a, the container concept is, anyways, no mess method. Very, very, very helpful and actually is what we use in the take your house back because it works for everyone because it's so simplified and because we're constantly like repeating this mantra and they're with you with support with thousands of people. A lot of people with hoarding tendencies have been able to have crazy amounts of success using this method because it takes out, you know what I'm saying? It takes out the other things. So I wanted to share these with you because I want you to try something else. If you haven't found a way to, to push yourself to, to get rid of the excess, to get rid of the clutter, if you're still living with mess and you know you have too much, if, if, you, if it takes more than five minutes to tidy one room or you've tidied a room and then literally 
five hours later, it's a mess again. This this is not something you should not have to tidy up all day long. That's crazy pants. And if you are doing that, it's because you have too much stuff to manage. So, um, yeah, the Easter egg method. Okay. So, Claire, the Easter egg method is you give yourself a bag either for trash or a bag for trash and donations, and it's on your market set go. You're looking for either trash or donations. You can either set yourself a set number, so I'm going to find 20 things, or you can set a timer. I'm going to do it for five minutes, or you're going to say with your family, okay, we have five minutes. Who can find the most on your market set go? So you're, you're not sorting. You're not making piles. You're just hunting. Like you're looking for eggs. Like, oh, I found one. Oh, I found something that can go. Oh, I don't need this. I found something that can go. And it, because it's a game, it's kind of fun and it shuts off your overthinking and a lot like analytical brain. The, that, that's the Easter egg method, which I really like if I'm, I'm working by myself. So or I'm getting my kids or family involved because this gets, especially toddlers. Oh, this works for toddlers. Yes. This works so good for toddlers. Absolutely. Um, okay. Anyways, I wanted to share that with you. I'm going to get to your questions, but I do have to talk about Take Your House Back because it's on sale right now. This is a program that I developed with Dawn from The Minimal Mom and A Slob Comes Clean. And... I didn't really know about either one of them before I started this. I definitely like, I'm not a minimalist. And I was like, I don't really relate. And Dana, I'm like, your method's so slow. It's going to take forever to do that. So I'm going to be honest. Like I was really like, I don't think this is going to work. This has been the most successful thing I've ever done. Like more people have had their life transformed through the, th like the three of us doing this than anything either of us have done on our own. And I think that was kind of like an accident. And I all honestly think it's like the combination of three different decluttering techniques and approaches together so that no matter what, where you are or what works for you, one of us is going to hit it for you. Does that make sense? Um, it's like we're all getting the same results at the end of the day, but we're coming from three very different places and three def very different methods. And then we talk about it live all the time and we do live coaching with you in a private group and it's, it's effective. So right now it's on sale. That's what I wanted to share with you. It's on sale for $94 for a couple more weeks because not only does it include like the private Facebook group and the the step by step we follow the no mess method we also like just teach you all these little techniques within the course but the course comes with all day live declutters and the next live declutter is saturday april 27th from 8 till 4 and this is when we are your clutter coaches on live we take turns in different spaces i usually do kitchens i like to do bedrooms, like the closet. I like to do storage rooms. Dawn loves to do bathrooms. Like we do different spaces and we coach you like we would if you hired us like step-by-step step to get rid of stuff in your house while we're live. And I take a more tough love approach. I'm going to be honest, but um, Dane is all about no emotions. Like we're not, we're not asking you if you like something. And then Dawn is like, loving and kind and just like it's all about making life easier for you so no matter what you're looking for to resonate you know what i'm saying um yeah please explain the no mess method again so the no mess method takes out all the emotion you are not asking yourself do i like this or um anything like that you're picking something up and you're just like is it trash? If it is, you're throwing it out. Is it duh? Like, does this just, you haven't put it back and it has a home yet? Then we take it there right now. And if it's something that doesn't have a home, it's like, where would I look for this first? You take it there now, wherever you would look for it, and you make it fit the container concept. So it's like, if it fits, if the first place you would look for it is in this drawer, you open the drawer. Does this fit in the drawer? No, that drawer is so full. 
what's going to leave that's not as important and is going to go get donated so this can go. So we're doing like this trade thing, not based on do I like stuff, but based on this is the only space I have for it. And because we're not sorting and we're not doing anything like that, we're not making a mess. I was not a fan of this method, but let me just tell you, People are like changing lives. I'm going to show you. So that's the thing. And you can do a hybrid combination of these things too. Um, here's what's so crazy. Okay. I, I cry. I cry. I just want to show you something. I cry all day live declutter. Every hour we do a different space. Do you want to see some transformation? So before, after. Look at this one. Before, after. Oh, no, that's not the after. Wait, I lost the after. Okay, I'm going to show you this one. I'm going to find it for you. But look, before the kitchen, after. And you can see there's me. This is like when I'm in the kitchen decluttering. So this is one hour before, after. It's crazy pants. Before we did storage room, after. And this is they're on with us live. So before the kitchen, after, after an hour. Like this is crazy the the results that you get in such a short amount of time because you have the accountability before after because you have somebody with you because you have somebody motivating you because you have somebody who's like this is the steps we're doing let's follow the steps and we're cheering you on yeah i love this wow wait a minute Wow, a bedroom turned into a kitchen in one day. Yeah, I, I obviously didn't add the after in that. But listen, uh, if you love before and afters as much as I do, you join Take Your House Back. You get to go to the um, the group. That's all it is is before and afters. Like everybody in there is like, look what I decluttered today. And they're showing you their huge pile of stuff and the things they're taking to goodwill. And do you know what happens to my brain? I get inspired to declutter too. Like I see all these people, mostly women, taking very cluttered spaces and like moving mountains and they're posting their progress. And I'm so fired up. I don't know what it is. Like it's so motivating to be with a group of people who are like doing stuff and like raw and cheering each other on and they've like I've never I've lived like this for 10 years and I've struggled and I got rid of six bags and boxes today and I like get so emotional about it do you know what I'm saying yeah all it's freaking life-changing so I don't it's not like I'm like I love selling you guys stuff it's not what this is about I don't want you to miss out and let me know in the comments if you've joined take your house back because like, I know you guys all feel the same. It is really freaking magical. And if you've done the take your house back in the past and you're like, I would love to do the all day declutter again coming up in April, it's only 10 bucks for the whole year. You get three all day declutters plus all the lives for $10 for the year. So it's like, you know what? Join. Join if it, it, we also, if you don't love it, you guys, listen, I'm not, I'm going to stop talking about this in a second and get to your questions, but, um, there's a money back guarantee. So say you're like, it isn't for you. These methods don't work for you. You just email and we refund your money. No questions asked. It isn't a, it isn't like this trick, like we're going to take your money. Kind of, It's like, honestly, try it. Try the accountability, try a different method, and try being part of a community of people who are going to continually cheer you on and motivate you. Maybe that's what you need. Maybe you need um, a different approach. So uh, anyways, is it possible to join the All Day Declutter without joining the course? No, I know. Um, it is not. But uh, it's so so. Ninety four dollars gives you access to the full year, which is the course, 
the private Facebook group, and three all-day live declutters. Plus, you have access to all the previous live all-day declutters. It's like 100 hours of them. You can watch all all the old ones. You can just put it on and pretend like it's live. So it's so insanely, so much value. Plus there's 15 mini courses in there. It's like, it's so much content, so much motivation. Um, I think it's really worth the investment. But again, if you if you want to try it and if it's not for you, it's a money back guarantee. There's also a payment plan. So it's $33 a month. Give it a try. I, it's all day. Jean's like, all day? Yeah, I'm going to tell you the truth. I am a sweaty, exhausted mess at the end. Like, I, I'm dying because if I'm not on with you live, I'm watching and decluttering along with you guys. I get rid of vanfuls of stuff from my house and I am so exhausted. The next day, I just sleep all day. I just sleep all day. It's so much work. It's it's crazy. Um, yeah, they're all recorded. Oh, they're all recorded and saved in the course. So you can watch them. We've been doing it for, this is our 10th. So you have 10 all day declutters that you can watch. Um, and then all the new ones coming up. The all-day declutters are, are, I think that's the best part personally. I think the the support group is the best part because of all the before and afters and all those things. Um, so I'm going to post the link here in the comments. You can also find it in if you want to sign up now. It's on sale just for a couple more weeks. Try it. You got nothing to lose except the excess crap and clutter in your house. That's that's the honest truth. Um, okay, get to your questions. Um, yeah, so sorry, there's a comment. I'm going to post it here. This is the link if you want to join. Take your house back and let's get to your comments. Mm. How does one choose from all their special treasures? You love rocks, vintage dog figures, household plants. Why do you have, have to like so much? Yeah, I love that. And I think this is a good point for the container concept. So give yourself a, this is where I'm going to display my collections. This is the shelving that I'm going to use for all my special treasures. And I can only keep what fits in this amount. So then you don't have to decide, like, you go let the, the space be the bad guy. You're not the bad guy. The space is the bad guy. You only can keep what fits on these display shelves. And then you create a collection that you really, really love because you're keeping only the best of the best, which feels good. It's easier to let go of when you're really like honoring and, and displaying the things that are the best. Um, okay, so I see a question. Wait, I'm sorry, they're going so fast. <clears throat> you paid for Take Your House Back, but you can't seem to sign up for the all-day declutter. If you're in the Take Your House Back, you're part of the all-day declutter. It's in the Facebook group, and it's also posted within the course. So go to your course, go to your takeyourhouseback.com, put in your email, um, put in your the password that you had, and then you'll see the link to the Facebook group within there. They'll give you the link inside the course and you don't have to pay again. You've already paid. And then, um, it's going to be right there in the Facebook group. If you don't have Facebook, it also goes live right to that. Like we upload it right to that course as well. So you'll be able to watch it within your course. If you don't have Facebook and renewal is $10. Yes. $10 for the year, which is awesome. You just joined. Yay. Okay. So that's it. Watch the modules for sure. Watch at least the first like decluttering to get really familiar with the decluttering method. Join the Facebook group because that thing's going to blow your mind. We have a live today in a half an hour over there in the Take Your House Back with Dawn. We have lives all like at least once a week over there in that Facebook group. And then um, the all day declutter, we're going to give you tons of emails about that coming up and links. You can watch it on YouTube too. You can watch it on Facebook or you can watch it in the course, the all day declutter. You'll have lots of ways that you can watch and join. So just log in, log in friends, check it out. So exciting. Um, 
oh, we just talked about this. We were going to all get together um, for the next all day declutter. We'd have to fly to each other. I've invited them to my house here in Canada, but Canada is so boring. <laughs> But I'm like, we should totally do it together. Uh, that's something we're talking about doing for the next all day declutter. Um, yeah, so if you guys have other questions, I'd love to answer it. I just wanted to, Jean, you know what? Listen, there is lots. If you're like, I can't, that 94 is too much right now. Listen, it's always going to be there for you if you need it. But there's also a ton of resources available online. Try a different decluttering method try like the Easter egg method or the no mess method. You'll find tutorials for all of these methods online. I don't want you to feel discouraged because you're like, I can't do the take your house back right now. It You, you can do this. You just have to find a method that works for you. So don't be afraid to try different ones. Try something new. Absolutely. Okay. Um, I just love spending time with you guys. Thank you so much. I'm not doing this any, I don't have time for virtual one-on-one -on -one help. I used to do coaching. I'd volunteer my time. Um, I just found at this point, like I'm drowning in just day-to-day -day life and work and kids. And I've paused that at, at the current moment, but I'll let you know if I'm ever opening that up again. Abby Ball, how do you find the will to clean, take pride in your home when it's falling apart, missing tiles, holes in the floors, cabinets, doors broken, etc.? Yeah, this is so tough um, because it just like no matter what I do, it'll never be perfect. It'll never, it'll always still have all these little issues. And that's really defeating sometimes. It can feel really defeating. But the other thing is like, if we're just like, oh, it's crap anyway, so I'm just going to let it go, it feels so much worse. So here's the thing. Take pride in the process. Just getting your sink clean and your counters cleaned off and putting some fresh flowers on your kitchen, even if you don't love your kitchen, every time you walk into it, you're going to feel like, oh, I made this the best I could. Anytime you do like a little thing to make it better, even if it's not perfect, it's the act of making it better that makes us feel pride. It really is. And there was a long time when I first started, like I had furniture I literally had picked off the side of the road. Like it was like gross and and things weren't, I it, we didn't have the money to make things really nice. But I took pride in the act of trying and every little step further I got, I felt a little bit more love for my home, even when it wasn't perfect. So try again, try with your kitchen, get those counters clear, clean them, treat yourself to some flowers. You know, um, they say put lipstick on a pig, <laughs> but it's true. Put some lipstick on a pig. You, uh, it'll be so pretty. It'll be such a pretty, it, it's a funny saying, but it's absolutely true. Um, okay, you need help try, with a room trying to solve, serve multiple purposes. Can I provide guidance? A few weeks ago, you mentioned you were looking for volunteers to be videotaped. Yeah, I'm working with one of you right now, actually. Um, and I'll let you know when we're done with her, we're going to have someone else. I'm working with one of you guys. We're doing a garage right now. Um, which has been really fun. I volunteer my time. So here's my advice on a room that serves multiple purposes. It's all about zoning. So you don't want lots of different categories mixed together. So if the room is an office and a bedroom and I don't know, a crafting space, they have to be like, this is the zone for sleeping. This is the zone for clothes. This is the office zone. This is the craft zone. And don't let them mix together. Keeping those separate zones when combining multiple purposes in one room is very helpful. So it just, it is. It's not a, the background's not a graphic. There's like some weird blur on, oh, sorry, uh, the background's familiar, but is it a graphic? You have to know. I feel you. No, it's not. It's just uh, I'm using something called StreamYard to to do this, so I can like 
highlight your comments and it like is blurring the background for some reason. It also went bonkers yesterday and sent out like 11 notifications like StreamYard was having a glitch. And so it was like going live, going live, going live, going live. Like, calm down, StreamYard. StreamYard just really thinks that you need to declutter, I think. It was just really excited to let you know about this live because it wanted you to probably join the Take Your House Back community so that you could finally, once and for all, like just take your house back. Like, like have success that lasts. You know what I mean? Like just be done with the constant stuff shuffling and the constant tidying and the constant looking for stuff and just always walking into a room and being like, why is this a freaking disaster again? Like, why can no one pick up? Why is everything everywhere? Like, this is a horrible way to live. It's a horrible way to live. When you daydream about falling down the stairs but not getting too hurt but a little hurt so you can go to the hospital to get a break from your house that's when you know you've hit like <laughs> you've reached a point where it's like enough is enough i need this to be easier i need this to be better oh my gosh i are we get are we going here now are we done to the to the thing. Um, I, I passed the EMT. I am, well, it's not EMT. It's a certified medical first responder. Back in November, I became a certified medical first responder and I volunteer for St. John Ambulance. And then I decided to take it to the next level and try to be a volunteer firefighter. So I'm actually going through the process now. Um, it's been a roller coaster and I want to tell you, but I also don't want to put it on the internet yet until I know what's going to happen. But it's like, I love Lucy. Okay. It's been nuts. I'll just give you a little bit of a hint. I was doing a physical test. I was doing a charged hose. I had to bend down, put it on my shoulder and advance it like 30 meters or something. And the only rule was don't open the valve. Don't open the water valve because the and shoot everyone with the fire hose. I'm picking it up and putting it on my shoulder. I grabbed the handle. It was not a handle, friends. It was not a handle. It was the valve to open the fire hose. Hilarious. Um, anyways, <laughs> I love Lucy. Um, Cynthia, what is the $94 versus the, the 10? So if you just paid $94. That means at any time in the future, if you want to, so you have a year access to take your house back the course and the Facebook group in the future, if you ever want to come back or stay part of it, so you can have the lot, the weekly lives and the all day declutter, it's just $10 a year. Even if you skip a couple years and then you're like, I feel like, cause you have your, it's like, my house is amazing. And then like a couple years from now, it starts getting a little craptacular again. You can just rejoin for $10 at any time. So, um, it's such a great resource. It really, really is, but take advantage of the sale for sure. Take advantage of that sale. Erica still stuck struggling with shopping. Um, are there plans to add a low buy element to the course or channel soon? That's so good because you've decluttered, but you're still shopping. Yeah, there isn't, but this is such a good point, right? It's so good. It's so hard. It's an addiction because it's fun and it's exciting and it feels good to get new things, but there are a lot of resources out there for shopping addictions and and tools and techniques like no buy challenges is very helpful. Living off cash is very helpful. So putting your credit cards and debit cards and like putting them in water in the freezer. Have you heard of this? Putting them in a bowl of water and then freezing them in your freezer. Very effective. Lots of things to do. But I think Erica, like I know this is cliche, but admitting the issue is the first step. Like you're like, I have a problem and I want to overcome this problem, that's like 90% of the work. So please like be really proud of yourself for identifying that issue because it's hard. It's hard to have that self-awareness. 
Um, yeah. So I'm so excited. Like there's like so many of you that are part of the Take Your House Back, which makes me so happy. Kelly, how's the backyard water rise? How's the cat? How's the smell? Love you. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to knock on wood. Um, if it's a really big rain, we flood. The ba whole backyard floods, but it hasn't flooded in months and months and months. So I'm going to knock on wood, which is awesome. The cat is my best friend. He's so, I think we cut his we cut his balls off. We got him neutered so that he wasn't like as fighty. And now he's like a pussy cat. That that tough tomboy. He's like hiss at me and everything. He's the most cuddly little bum. He never will he wants to leave. He's still an outdoor cat because he refuses to use a litter box no matter what we try. But he like cries at the door and we let him in and we keep him in the house and then we just shoo him out so he can go to the bathroom. Um, love just I'm in love with him. And the smell in my car is gone. Um, that really nice car detailer did it for free and it, it, it hasn't smelled. So yeah, it's been awesome. Uh, I just, yeah, I love spending time with you. We've got a few minutes. If you have any other questions that you want to get to, oh my gosh, I've missed so many of your comments. <gasps> Hello, we got a new member. Thank you. This is amazing. Thank you so much. Um, Okay, Rachel, do I have suggestions for someone who's disabled and is also being tested for cancer? You've been struggling a lot with depression and anxiety and you haven't had any motivation to declutter. I don't I think like don't look at the big mountain and all the things you have to do. Any progress that you make is amazing. If today you find 10 pieces of trash to go, please reward yourself on that success. It isn't like how big of a, of a climb that you go. It's the pride that you're making the steps forward. And also don't be afraid to ask for help. If I had a family member and this weekend I'm going on Saturday, my best friend, she called and she was like, Hey, can you help me declutter? Please. Like my office is horrible and I don't know what to do. I'm excited to go. Like there are loved ones who would love to help you declutter and clean and get caught up and organize. All you have to do is ask. You are not a burden. You are not putting anyone out. They will say no if they don't want to. Please don't be afraid to ask for help because I know if you asked people in this group, would you want to help your friend for a few hours if they asked you get their you know, kitchen under control or living room under control? 90% of us are going to say yes. We would love to help you. So so don't be afraid to ask for help. Please, please don't be afraid. Um, oh, so many, so many. Yeah, it's $94. The Take Your House Back is $94 for the entire year. And then it's only it's only $10 after that if you want to. If you want to rejoin, it's $10 at any time. And that gives you a full year for just $10. So again, I'm going to put the link if you want to join in the comments. I think it's also in the description here. I'm posting it right now. Money back guarantee. You don't love it. It doesn't work for you. We'll, we'll refund your... It isn't about the money. It's about a real plan, real support, and and real friendship within this group to help you get to where you need to be. Because there's something pretty amazing about having a group of us doing it together, all coming from the same place, all of us having struggled, and we're all motivating and cheering each other on. Um, it's pretty incredible. Are all the all day decluttering for $94. So the, the $94 is for the course. And then that includes all the live all day declutterings. Plus you get access to all the old ones. So all this bonus stuff is all free included in the course. So you're going to get the all day live declutters. You're going to get the live trainings. You're going to get access to the course and the mini course plus all 10 of the old all day live declutters you can still watch as well it's all in your course so um yeah so worth it you guys so worth it 
Yeah, you should be able to use that link for the renewal as well. Also, if you search your email, you might have it. Let me see if I can find the renewal link here. I can. Look at me. I'm so organized today. Um, here's the link for the renewal. So if you've bought it in the past, it's just $10. And you'll see that there's this little renewal link here. So, so definitely do that. Um, okay, you guys, thank you so much. I know if you're feeling overwhelmed, um, you're not alone. And if you've tried and struggled in the past and you're just like, I must suck at decluttering. I really want to encourage you to just try a different method, whether it's the no mess method, which is really effective if you're an overthinker, the Easter egg method, which is very helpful if you have ADHD. Maybe you want to try the three second method, which is like you pick something up and if you hesitate, you got to let it go. There's so many different methods or use a combination of these, but don't be afraid to try something new, try something different. It could just be that you haven't found the thing that works for you. And the last thing I made an appointment for the little skin cancer on my nose. I had no choice because you guys harassed me so much. Uh, my husband was like, I am tired of these emails. You emailed me. You messaged me. It was like literally thousands of you, thousands of you bullied me and that you, it, you won. I booked the appointment. I booked an appointment with a dermatologist and a plastic surgeon. So thank you. You were the accountability I needed to actually do it and take action. I needed you and maybe you need me too. So thank you guys so, so much. Um, love you guys so much. And I'll see you next time.